Jordan here, and uh, this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a version of Windows today that many people might not have even heard of. And uh, no, it wasn't released in stores. No, it's not a pre-release version. Um, it's Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. Just kidding. I'm actually setting this up for my own personal usage. This isn't a pre-release version. Everybody knows about Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. It's the uh, extended support version of Windows XP that people have magically found, and it's actually better than you think it is. However, uh, don't use it as your main Windows XP system. There is a ton of things missing in it, but it's still Windows XP. I'm just sitting here waiting for the stupid Windows Genuine Advantage bullcrap to get out of the way, so that way it'll mark my system as being genuine, which it is, because I have a genuine product key. I went through the whole registration process and got one myself, so it's going to find that it's genuine anyway, so, I mean, what's the point of sitting here trying to fight that? Anyways, the version of Windows that we're going to take a look at today in this video is actually on the internet. It's called Windows RG Build 207. Now, I actually made a video about this on my old channel many, 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 many years ago. I think, like, at least five years ago. I took a look at this on my old YouTube channel. No, was it five years ago? I can't remember. And it was in very, very crappy 240p on really crappy audio quality and everything, so it's time to take a look at it in better detail. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and load up this Flash game here, and we'll take a look at it, and we'll see what it's all about. I'll even crop the video towards the virtual machine size. Okay, so I got this running in 549 by 400 resolution to fit the size of this, completely anyway. We have the Windows Millennium startup sound. Ooh, required DLL, Windows.DLL was found, so, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot that this was actually inside this game. Yeah, as you notice, um, it kind of is designed to mock Windows Millennium Edition. This was made in August of 2001, if you didn't look previously. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I think if I remember, there's a shortcut to get out of this, and you click right there. I actually got out of it. Oh, Windows cannot delete explorer.exe. The files in use by Windows. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, all right. Come on. Get out of this. Windows has found a virus in explorer.exe. This file will be deleted. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. My memory's come. Welcome to Windows RG Build 207. There are seven new adventures in this release. Read on, blah, blah, blah. You, can, you guys can read this, obviously. I'll read it anyway. Windows RG comes now with Microsoft Word standards. You can know the processing needs. Have you noticed the icons on the desktop? You can access your files quicker and easier than ever. Woohoo. I can find out the rest for myself. Click OK, and you're on your way to an easier life with Windows RG, except they badly misspelled that right there. <laughs> they badly misspelled that. That's kind of disappointing, actually. Cannot find anything. Please reinstall Windows. Well, we're off to a great start. Would you like to take a moment to register your copy of Windows RG? How about no? Well, it, yeah. oh man, you can't even check the box that says do not ask me this again, and this box up here does nothing, so I guess we have to. Cannot locate register.exe. Windows won't bother searching. Oh, fantastic. Pulling a Windows 3.1. <laughs> okay, so here we are, finally in the user interface. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll start with the desktop icons first before we get into anything major. So we'll go ahead and my computer here. From here you can break your computer. Oh, you possibly could. Oh man, I hate when people put the hard drive as not being C. That drives the crap out of me. Anyways, we'll check the floppy drive, see if there's anything in there. Drive A is not accessible. Please and sure. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to mean for and sure, but okay, whatever. Please ensure there's a disk in drive A and try again. Okay. Oh, whatever. Um, in drive. Uh, we have a 15 gigabyte, oops, sorry about that. We have a 15 gigabyte hard drive, and we have no space free technically, even though we're supposed to have 0.1 gigs free. So, okay. I'm going to my documents here, even though it's technically on the desktop, so. You boring artists, get some documents before I come in, they're looking for them. Uh-oh, Explorer.exe performed an illegal operation. Operation is spelled with two Ps. And will now be closed. Wow, that's fantastic. How about the recycle one so we don't have to do it on the desktop? 
This is where stuff you don't want gets shoved. Also, this is where files that Windows has deleted for no reason get sent. Click the button below to empty recycle them. Ha. Huh. Could not delete the end drive. There is a sharing violation. Press space to continue. Could not delete Explorer IDXE. Register IDXE. Win.com. Auto execute dot bat. Config.sys. Run DLL 32.exe. And we're back to the desktop. Okay then, oh, so a very good start so far, it seems like. Windows is a protected folder. Please enter administrator password to continue. I don't even know if there is any. Ah, whatever. I'm not going to bother with it. Blank was incorrect. Please go away. Well, duh. <laughs> Let's take a look at the R drive now, which is supposed to be the optical drive. Could not find the CD with label house builder. I got a blue screen out of that as well. If the CD is still on the drive, it may require shooting, heating, covering, and cling film, destroying, eating, smiling, or cleaning. Windows has caused a general protection fault in Explorer.exe. If the file is gray, it may require recoloring. Okay, that's kind of weird. Okay then, so now that we're done with my computer, my documents, and recycle bin, we can go ahead and continue on to the Windows Media Player. Oh man, this is like one of the best versions of Windows Media Player ever. You just, there's no way you can open files. There's just a play button and a stop button, and that's it. You can't even adjust the volume. So yeah, that's kind of nice. Also, I just noticed this clock is horrendously wacky. Like it says 12 a.m. now, and I bet you that it's going to change in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, see, it says 3 a.m. now. That's kind of weird. It's like it's changing time zones at like complete random. Anyway. to finish the file. Media player X is performing an illegal operation. Operation spelt wrong again. And we'll close. Isn't that a shame, isn't it? Well, clearly they didn't capitalize their sentence. <laughs> what a joke. Okay, anyway. So, um, I guess in the start menu, I guess the first thing we'll go off with is Microsoft Word. Part of the Office RG suite. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to type. Looks like you're not, or excuse me, it looks like you're probably not writing a letter. I like letters. I think you should. Go away, Clippy. So there's no X. There. Shows you my rage for a Clippy. Okay, it just overwrote my entire sentence. That works, I guess. Start with a word like milk. And sponge. I like sponges. Okay. Now you need some pictures. That's my brother. Ha ha. Oh. Paperclip.exe has performed 94,708 illegal operations and will now be shot. And Clippy's all like, oh dear, I think I made a crash. Except I can still sit there and type ASDFGHJKL in the background, so that's kind of funny. I wonder if I can put in effective power and make it crash even more. <laughs> hey, why do I have blood? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Interesting. Word.exe has performed an illegal operation, killed a paperclip, and will now be arrested, and for that reason, closed. Okay, then. That makes no sense. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and take a look at Windows Update. Welcome to the Windows Update Wizard. Click Next to begin. Oh, crap. I don't want it to send all my money to Microsoft. Well, I don't even have any money to begin with, so what would the difference be? Unable to connect. This could be for several reasons. One, you smell. Two, your house is green. Three, you are trying to be naughty. Okay. I'm glad they have the okay buttons on this, because I'm confused by what they're meaning. Unable to connect. Please try again later. Ah, uh, bloody dial up. Oh, Jesus. Blue screen. Windows is broken. Please reinstall Windows. Oh, goodness. Windows has caused a general protection fault in update.exe. Please attempt to delete this file. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay, then. That made no sense. The uh, crash is obvious. I'm not going to bother with that. Solitaire. Oops. Timed out. Solitaire. Okay, how are you supposed to do this? 
Uh, let's see, what card? Okay, that goes probably first. Does that go under it? Yes, it does. How about this one? Okay, that goes over that. How about the RG card? Does that go over? Yes. You have won. Would you like to play again? Well, there we go. I have officially won this version of Solitaire. No, I would not like to play again. Thank you. That's the one part of the operating system that actually works. Order food. One of the main advancements in Windows RG is the ability to order food online. You can order from a huge selection of quality goods, and they will be delivered to your door within 30 minutes, 45 minutes off P. Click OK to continue. Well, I don't really live in the city, so I don't know how well that would actually function, but okay. I guess if they're accurate and that, then I guess I'll get my food within 30 minutes or else it's free. Just like what they do at Pizza Hut. I think. I don't think they still do that anymore. Probably would still do that, I don't know. Yeah, you're totally wasting my time, of course. Okay, prune juice, slice of ham, and chickpeas. You know, I entirely forgot what in the heck chickpeas are. I guess we're we'll about to uh, take a look. We shall take a look together at what chickpeas are, because I completely forgot what they were. Oh. Okay, then that's very informative. <laughs> I'd rather do the slice of ham then. Oh, it's sold out. Okay. Well, nothing works. Okay, whatever. There's enough food for everyone. Yeah, right. Okay, so the ordering food didn't... Whoops, that didn't go as planned. So let's go ahead and we'll next try Go Online. With the world's largest version number of Internet Explorer 7, known to man. Of course, Internet Explorer is no longer supported. Unable to connect, there could be several reasons. One, you do not have an internet service provider. Two, the internet is broken. Three, you are going to a site. Okay. Once again, that's kind of confusing. IE Explorer IEXE has performed an illegal operation for no reason. Probably because you smell. I don't smell. I just took a shower like an hour ago. So how in the heck would I be smelling right now? Also, if you're wondering, obviously IE Explorer IEXE is not the right executable. It's IE Explorer IEXE, so... Uh, Windows RG got that wrong, but then again, I don't blame the developer because he probably put that in there on purpose. Okay, enough of my rambling. Okay, let's go to paint. Let's try and paint something, I guess. Talk about an epilepsy warning. <laughs> okay, let's go to uh, help. Oh, Jesus, not many times out too fast. Help. The updated Windows help service is so simple to use. Enter one or more words regarding what you need help on, and Windows RG will be happy to help. We'll just we'll search enter search here. You search for enter search here. Of course it didn't find any matches. How do I grow bonja trees if I can fish swim so well? How do I purchase the lime? Let's see how I purchase the lime. I'm curious. Oh, oh god. Windows has caused a general protection fault in winhelp.exe. Press space to continue. Uh, oh, oh wow. That program went and did nothing we enjoyed. Okay, well the last options are reboot and shut down. Of course, crash does what it thinks it does. So, uh, yeah, there's really not much else to say, I think. I have no idea. So, um, I don't know, I guess we shut down. Are you sure you want to quit this wonderful operating system? There's a high chance of your process of overheating. Oh, that's fun. Except I'm running a Pentium, so I don't see why I would ever overheat, but uh, maybe a Core i7 would. Are you sure? Why now, instead of shutting down, order some delicious food from our wide range? Yeah, that was kind of disappointing in itself. Are you sure you can go on paint and do some glorious artwork? Eh, get an epilepsy attack at the same time. Are you sure? Surely you love Windows RG more than this. Well, I loved it when it was actually new. Not so much anymore. Are you sure? Fine. If you click yes now, Windows RG will shut down. Honest. Yeah, right. Windows was able to shut down. You could have left the program on. Is that what you've done? Is it? No. Everything shut down because it crashed. 
Windows was able to shut down this computer to build up a lime scale in your process. I didn't know lime scale could build up on computer CPUs. That's just bull crap. i to get you to take apart your computer. Okay, so that is it for Windows RG Build 207. Of course, credit to all the people on here, whether or not they exist or not. So, um, yeah. I don't know if any of these people still exist, but I'm pretty sure they're on the Newgrounds website, and so that's who helped develop this. So we just go ahead and put all the credits to these people who did this amazing job at this uh, program. So, yeah. Yep, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next edition of this, which is actually going to be called Windows FU. So I'll take a look at that at the later date. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later. On second thought, let's actually take a look at the uh, the crash function so that you guys can get a little bit of an experience for what that actually does. Got to re go through all this bull crap. So here's the crash function. That's it. Just blinks the desktop out. Start button does nothing. There you go. Those are that's what the crash function is for those who wanted to know.